I'm Deanna from DC Fit, and this is a full body, knee friendly, no impact strength and cardio workout. I am currently about 10 weeks out from knee surgery. I experienced a root tear to my meniscus 10 weeks ago that had to be surgically repaired. And since that time, I've been able to maintain some level of fitness and exercise by adhering to various knee restrictions, all right? So in keeping with my current knee restriction, there won't be any impact in today's workout, but it will be intense and you will need your dumbbells, all right? I have everything out today from my 20 pound dumbbells to my five pound dumbbells, all right? I also have my chair nearby because I am gonna use my chair for a couple of exercises, all right? And I also have a light band nearby as well. We're gonna be using the band for abduction, so you don't have to have the band, but if you've got one and you wanna use it, go ahead and grab it, all right? We're gonna get started first right here with the warm up. Big arm circles, high and wide to the front. Just gonna take a few minutes here, guys, to get warmed up and get loose and then we'll get started with this workout. Nice job, let's get a couple more forward, and now let's reverse it, high and wide to the back. Good, so pumped you guys are here to work out with me today. Feels good to be upright. I will be using the chair for a couple of exercises, but for the most part, I'll be standing this entire time. Let's bring it right here to the end of the mat. We're just gonna walk up the mat for four, and back for four, all right? We're gonna add the arms up for four, and now back for four. Good job. Keep your eyes on your mat. Watch where you're going if you've got your dumbbells nearby. Walking up the mat and right back. Good job. So you might have noticed I've got a new knee brace. This knee brace is perfect. It allows me to work uh, lower body and full body workouts, so excited to be wearing that today. Let's get a couple more here, guys. Let's go all the way up, and now all the way back. Nice job. Staying right here, let's take the feet apart and bring this to a hinge. We're gonna hinge all the way over and right back up. So knees are slightly bent, sending the hips back and bringing the hips forward. Good job. I don't have to wear this knee brace all the time. I'm currently only wearing it for longer walks, like when I'm walking the dog or when I'm doing a full body or lower body workout like this. Let's get a couple more hinges, guys. And last time, let's leave it all the way over to the hinge. And this time we're gonna walk out with our arms, drop the hips, and walk right back up. Good, right back down, walking out with the hands, drop the hips, and then walk it right back up. Good work, nice job. So working circuit style today, guys. Our format goes A, B, A. We've got two exercises. We'll be performing the first exercise twice, that's our A, and then we're gonna put a different exercise right in the middle of those two, that's our B, giving us our A, B, A format. Good, let's get one more of these. Walk it all the way out. Good, full body movement here to warm up, and now bring it back up. Bring it back to the front. Let's take the feet out wide and bring this to a rotation right here. Good job. Elbows up, rotating side to side, warming up the core as well as the spine. Big rotations. Good, let's get a couple more each way. And last time, right and left. Good, from here, let's bring the heels back for four and then the knees up for four. Arms overhead with the knees. And now heels back, we're gonna lower the arms. Nice job, so knees up, high arms for four. And now heels back with lower arms. Good job, guys. So we've got 12 circuits today in that ABA format, heels back. Good job, not a lot of rest in between our exercises. We're just gonna keep moving today. Great work. Good, let's get one more of each here. Four knees. And now four heels, good job. And from here, let's just bring it to some side taps, side to side, arms out to the side, moving laterally here, getting warmed up in this direction. Great work, nice job. Let's get a few more here, two more. Last one, left and right. And let's finish right here with some arm swings right over left, 
Left over right to the front. Good, feeling nice and warm now. Ready to work out? All right, I'm gonna grab a quick drink. Guys, make sure you've got your dumbbells nearby, your band if you're gonna use it, and a chair, all right, for a couple exercises. But like I said, for the most part, we're standing this entire time. All right, first exercise looks like this. I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbells for both of these exercises. First exercise, working the right side, is just a swing, rack, and press, all right? Hips come forward, rack on the hip, and then press, all right? Our second exercise every time today, guys, that second exercise, that B exercise, is our heavy exercise, all right? We're gonna go for 45 seconds, so we can slow it down and lift some heavier weights. So our second exercise is just an overhead press. All right, 45 seconds there. And then we're gonna complete, we're gonna return to our 30 second A exercise with the swing, rack, and press on the left side, all right? You'll notice on the swing, rack, and press, we've got a hammer hold on the 45 second exercise in the middle. We've got a regular shoulder press, all right? So right here, exercises A, B, A, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, all right? So here we go, grab your dumbbell, getting ready right here on that right side for a swing, rack and press, 30 seconds. Let's go in three, two, and one, right here. Big swing, rack, and press. 30 seconds right here, guys. Nice job. So on our 30 second session, we're looking for, or a 30 second rep, we're looking for a lot more reps right here, right? Maybe a little lighter weight, pushing to get a few more reps. Good job. The tempo in the 30 seconds is a little faster. We're gonna slow it in five seconds for our 45 second round, all right? In three, two, and one. All right, so now I'm going to that 45 second round. Core tight, arms up, shoulder press. Right here, big press. 45 seconds, guys. Good job. Core nice and tight. Pressing up overhead. Nice work. Elbows just slightly out in front. Good work. Down low, press up tall. Big exhale, right there. All right, 25 seconds here. Working a little heavier, guys. Press, good job. Slowing down to lift a little heavier. Working both arms. Nice job, 15 seconds here. And we're gonna go to that left side and finish up. Good job, big press. Core nice and tight. All right, we've got three, two, and one. All right, back to that one dumbbell, working the left side. We've got the swing, rack and press on the left side. Jump in with me right here, 30 seconds. Good job. This is it, right here, guys. We're gonna follow that same format the entire workout, right? A, B, A, good job. Here we go, right there. All right, we've got about 15 seconds. Working this left side. Remember, as the hips come out of that swing, that's when you're racking that dumbbell, and then give me a big, powerful press. All right, guys, right here, we've got four, three, two, and one more. Boom. Nice job. All right, that's circuit one. I'm gonna grab a quick drink. We're gonna go right into circuit two. Again, following that ABA format. Moving quickly today, guys. Full body, quick, but powerful workout. All right, I'm gonna grab my fives and my tens for our next exercise. We've got lateral raises. Core nice and tight. Our first exercise, we're just gonna go halfway down and up. Halfway down and up. Little pulses right here, halfway down and up. Squeezing those shoulders, all right? Second exercise, same thing, but we're gonna get a full range of motion with heavier dumbbells, all right? So grab your lighter dumbbells, whatever that's gonna be for you. Right here, we've got 30 seconds, halfway down and up. All right, let's go in three, two, and one. Here we go, halfway down and up. Good, shoulders go down, elbows go up. Big squeeze right there. Focusing on the shoulders. Good, we're 10 seconds in. 20 to go, halfway down and up. Good work, 
We got it. 15 seconds to go, guys. Finish strong right here. Halfway down and up. 10 more seconds. We're gonna drop these lighter dumbbells. Grab your heavy dumbbells, all right? In three, two, and one. All right, so going a little bit heavier. Now we're all the way down and up for 45 seconds. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Good job. Mind muscle connection, guys. Nice work. Working hard here. Shorter workout today, but working intensely the entire time, all right? Focusing right now on the shoulders. Lift and lower. We got it going heavier here. Elbows up, shoulders go down and squeeze. We've got about 15 seconds, guys, with these heavier dumbbells. Finish strong. Good. All right, 10 more seconds here. We're gonna grab those lighter dumbbells again, all right? We're gonna finish it out with that halfway and up exercise. In three, two, and one. All right, heavy dumbbells down. Grab those lighter ones, here we go, halfway and up. Woo, 30 seconds. Here we go, here we go. Keep it with me. We got it. We got it. Here we go. Halfway and up. Halfway and up. Squeezing. We got it. Finish strong, guys. We've got about 15 seconds here. Woo! I know you're feeling it, because I am. Here we go. Here we go. Halfway and up. All right. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Those five pound dumbbells are feeling heavy. <laughs> All right, grab a quick drink. We are moving on. All right, our first leg exercise looks like this. I'm gonna grab my 20 pound dumbbells for this exercise, working my glutes and hamstrings. This is gonna change a little bit for me because I can't isolate my left leg with the dumbbell. So um, I eventually will be doing no weight but I'm gonna grab one dumbbell here, right leg forward, left is going back, all the weight as you hinge over is in that front right heel. You're gonna come up and squeeze, all right? Everything running through that right heel, through the right hamstring and right glute, all right? So exercise one, right side. Second exercise, increase your weight. I'm gonna to go to two dumbbells and we've got rear deadlifts with both legs, all right? And then we'll finish with that left leg. So here we go, right leg forward, left back, core nice and tight, all the weight in that right heel. Let's hinge down and up for 30 seconds. Down and up, good job. We've got a little less weight, right? So again, maybe performing a few more reps, but watch your form, all right? Core nice and tight as you hinge over, as you come up, you wanna exhale, drawing that hip forward, squeezing everything you've got, and that right posterior chain, right? Here we go. 10 more seconds here, and then we're gonna grab that other dumbbell, increasing our weight by double. Good job, down and up. All right, let's finish here in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so now grab that other dumbbell, both heels planted, core nice and tight, and right here, hinge over and up. Good, all the weight now running through both heels, right? Hips going back, hips coming forward. Nice job. All the way over, up and squeeze. All right, we're 15 seconds in, 30 to go. All the weight in both heels, all that work running through your entire posterior chain, Hips going back, hips coming forward, big squeeze. We got it, we got it. Good job, guys, we got 15 seconds. All the way over and up. Good. Nice neutral spine, core tight. Here we go, we've got four, three, two, and one. All right, switching. We've got the left leg forward now, so back to one dumbbell. Only if you're me, there's no dumbbell. I'm at no weight bearing on my surgery leg, right? So you've got your dumbbell. I do not. All the way to that left heel. We're gonna hinge over, up and squeeze. So 30 seconds here. Again, we've got lighter weight. We've reduced our weight by dropping that other dumbbell. 
Good job. Pinching over and up. So you might be able to get a few more reps now. That leg is on fire though, right? Because it's already worked the first two exercises. Here we go. Down and up. Let's give this 15 more seconds. Big hinge here, guys. All the weight running through that left heel, left hamstring, left glute. All right, let's finish right here in five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job, guys. Hitting all things hamstring and glutes. All right, now I'm gonna grab my five pound dumbbells and my 10 pound dumbbells for our next circuit, all right? Focusing on the tricep. So, core nice and tight. First exercise looks like this. Abs are tight, big hinge, 90 degree angle. Go ahead and extend one arm. We're just gonna alternate these, all right? Alternating these for 30 seconds. The second exercise, again, we're gonna go a little heavier. Both arms for 45 seconds, all right? So here we go. Everybody ready? All right, here we go. Got those liner dumbbells. Core tight, elbows up. Go ahead and extend one arm so that you're ready to alternate. Let's go in three, two, and one. Right here, just alternating. Good. Now don't get swinging, all right? Think about stopping at that 90 degree angle. All right, nice and controlled. Lift and squeeze. Pick up the tempo if you can. Good. We've got 15 seconds here. Alternating right and left. Core nice and tight. You do you with your dumbbells, all right? All right, we've got four, three, two, and one. All right, lighter dumbbells down. Grab those heavier dumbbells. Here we go, core tight, elbows up, and here we go. Both arms this time, heavier dumbbells, 45 seconds. Woo! Feeling it. We are moving, getting the most out of each circuit today with reps, lighter weight, and then one really good heavy weight right here in the middle. We got it, we got it. Nice job. Lift and squeeze. Woo! Only one heavy set, guys. So finish strong. 15 seconds here, and then we're gonna go back to alternating, all right? Just get a few more reps with your heavy set. Woo! Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, those heavy dumbbells down. Good. Come up for a minute, give your back a little bit of break. All right, here we go. Let's finish strong. Hinge over, elbows up, straighten one out. Here we go, alternate, 30 seconds. Woo! Stop at that 90 degree angle, guys. Your triceps are on fire, I know, but try not to swing. Stay in control, right? Good job. This is an intense, shorter workout today. Busting it right here. You got about 12 seconds. Finish strong, finish strong. Alternating. Keep that 90 degree angle. Squeeze those triceps. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Nice work, guys. Doing great. Nice job. We've got 12 circuits today. We're on circuit five, all right? So right here, I'm gonna grab, I think I'm gonna do my eight pound dumbbells. I'm gonna try my eight pound dumbbells. I may end up dropping to my fives, but I'm gonna start with my eights and a 10 pound dumbbell, all right? So first exercise looks like this. We're gonna walk forward and backwards with the right leg, and we're gonna alternate front raises, looks like this. Just up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So from the side, we've got up, up, down, down. Core nice and tight, don't keep up. It's not this, all right? Core nice and tight, big brace right there in the core. Up, up, down, down, all right? So our middle exercise, try to go a little heavier. We're gonna lift center, bus driver, right back down. Up, turn, turn, right back down. That's our 45 second exercise, all right? And then we'll return to the walking exercise. So here we go, walking right leg this entire time, alternating front raises for 30 seconds. Let's go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Up, up, down, down. Up and up, down and down. 
Good job, guys. Tight core, stay in control. Just a little bit of walking here. Upright, back right. Good job. We've got about 15 seconds of up, back, back. Core tight, lift, lift, lower, lower. Moving up, stepping back. All right, we've got four, three, two, and one. All right, dumbbells down. Grab that heavier dumbbell, one heavy dumbbell. Abs are tight, knees soft. Draw that belly button in, here we go. Lift front, rotate, down, lift, rotate, and down. Good job. Core tight, rotating my dumbbell, lift it up, rotate, and down. Good job, 45 seconds here. Now if you can think about it, rotate with a different arm first, all right? I'm rotating left first, and now I'm gonna rotate right first, okay? Good job. Good, so if you can think about it, lead with a different rotation. Woo, but I want most of your thoughts on that tight core, all right? Core nice and tight, keeping those shoulders low. Woo, all right guys, right here we've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab those dumbbells. Still walking right, we're not changing the walk, keep walking right. We've got up, up, down, down. Woo! 30 seconds, guys. Finish strong. Up, up, back, back. Good, keep that core tight. Lots going on here. Core tight, stabilizing that workout front, even while you're walking. I'm gonna drop my weight. I feel like my form is becoming frightening. I don't wanna lose my form for my reps, right? All right, we've got five. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice work, guys. All right, quick drink. That brings us to circuit six. Circuit six is where I'm gonna bring in my chair. You bring in your chair if you have one, or just have a seat on the edge of a, I don't know, something secure if you got a table or a couch. We're just gonna use the side of it, all right? I am gonna use, I'm gonna use my 15. I tried it with my 15s earlier and I like that. So 15 pound dumbbell. We're gonna start on the right leg. We're gonna core nice and tight, stay tall. You can stabilize here by gripping under with your left hand if you want. We've got two little pulses. On the third one, we're gonna lift and kick. All right, so it goes lift, 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 kick. Lift, 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 kick. Tiny lift, all right, just Firing up that quad, making that quad nice and tight, and then holding it on the kick, all right? So 30 seconds on the right leg. Second exercise, grab a dumbbell, and we're just gonna sit stand. So modified squat by using the chair, sit and stand, and then we'll come and isolate that left side at the end, all right? So starting right here with that right leg, dumbbell on top, core nice and tight. All right, stay nice and tall. Right here, lift two, kick on three. Three, two, and one, right here. Lift, 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 kick. Lift, 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 kick. Good, just small little lifts. Nice job. Good, just stimulating that quad and then causing it to contract a little bit further with that kick on three. Tight core, guys, don't start falling over. Good, and kick. We've got about eight seconds. Two little lifts, then we'll lift and kick. Right here, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, either keep that dumbbell or grab another one. We're going a little heavier here. We've got the sit stands in three, two, and one. Here we go, up and down. Good job. Just tapping out on that chair. Good work. This is your heavy exercise. Try to go heavy if you can. I can't go crazy heavy right now. I don't want to add a lot of weight. I'm splitting the weight between both legs, but really don't want to add a whole lot of weight to my recovery leg right now. Good job, here we go. Sit and up. Hips going back, hips coming forward. All right guys, 15 seconds, and then we're gonna isolate that left leg and finish there. Here we go, here we go, up. And down, we've got five, 
four, three, two, and one. Good job. I am going to reduce weight for this side. I'm going to go to my 10 pound dumbbell. And again, two little lifts with kick on three. Right here, 30 seconds. Tight core, tall spine. Lift, 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 kick. Lift, 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 kick. Good job, guys. Lifting every time, just adding a little bit of a kick there on that third lift. All right, 15 seconds here. Finishing up, lift, 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 kick. Good, stimulating that quad. Right here, we've got eight seconds. Finish strong, stay tall. All right, we've got four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, dumbbells down. Move that chair out of the way. Um, we'll be back to it later. And now we're gonna lay back on the floor. We're gonna come to the floor for the next two exercises. All right, starting first with core. All right, so our first exercise, our A exercise, that we do twice, looks like this. Draw that belly button in and up. Nice tight core, dumbbell overhead, core tight here. We're just gonna lower the legs out as far as you can, just about halfway. A little bit of a flutter kick here, all right? We've got 30 seconds there. Then we've got 45 seconds, very similar, dumbbell overhead, but we've just got long, long leg lifts, down and up, all right? So 45 seconds there, just slowing it down, and then we'll return to those quick flutter kicks, all right? So here we go, dumbbell overhead, feet straight overhead, grab your core right there, belly button in and up, lower the legs without losing your core, and right here, 30 seconds. Good job. Keep that belly button in, pressing that belly button into your floor, into your back, up into your rib cage. Good job. Watch your breathing. Drawing it in, letting it out, keeping that belly button drawn in. Nice tight flutter kicks. Good job, guys. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, dumbbell overhead, stays right there. And now long leg lift and lowers. Core nice and tight. We've got 45 seconds here. Good. Belly button in and up. Good job. Here we go. Lift and lower. Nice work. You can raise your head, neck, and shoulders if you want. Just keep that belly button nice and tight. Here we go. If not, you can just keep your head, neck and shoulders on the ground. Up to you. Raising them is a little more intense, but keep your core engaged, all right? 15 more seconds here, guys. And then we're gonna return to those flutter kicks. All right? So tight core here. Woo! Down and up, nice and controlled. All right, we've got three, two, and one. All right, again, feet up overhead. Lower the legs without losing your core and now flutter, right here. Good job, 30 seconds. We're gonna finish here, tight core, good. Here we go, here we go. Nice work, tight core, keep those legs going. Dumbbell up overhead, woo! Here we go, here we go. Finish strong, we got it. All right, eight seconds, here we go. Tight core, guys, roll that belly button in. We've got four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. All right, next exercise, chest exercise. I'm gonna use my 15 pound dumbbells, and then I'm gonna go to my 20 pound dumbbells for that heavy set right in the middle, all right? So get your dumbbells set up right beside you so that you're able to come up and change, all right? I'm gonna start with my lighter dumbbells, my 15s. I'm gonna lay all the way back, core nice and tight, knees up. We're gonna start with one dumbbell overhead and one dumbbell down to the side. Keep your elbows just under your shoulders, all right? You don't want them directly out to the side from your shoulder. You want them just under your shoulder. We're gonna alternate chest press just like this. All right, nice and controlled for 30 seconds. And then we'll come up and we'll grab our heavier set of dumbbells 
for a solid two dumbbell chest press, all right? So here we go, 30 seconds here, alternating. Let's go with three, two, and one. Right here, core tight, alternate this chest press, all right? We never quite stop, all right? Core nice and tight, got some core going on here. Stabilizing as we press up. Good, tapping that elbow just out to the side and under the shoulder. Big press, just alternating here, overhead. Keep it going, nice job. Here we go, here we go. Let's get 15 more seconds here, guys. And then we'll take a break, come up and grab those heavier dumbbells. Right here, here we go. Finish strong. All right, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, all the way up. Grab your heavier dumbbells. For me, it's my 20s. I'm gonna go all the way back. Elbows out to the side. And right here, big strong. 45 seconds of chest press. Here we go. Jump in with me. Elbows out to the side. Inhale on your way down. Big exhale as you power those dumbbells up. Good work. Core tight. Back braced into the floor. Belly button press through your abs, through your belly, through your back, into the floor. Good job. Here we go. All the way up. We got it. All right, we've got about 15 seconds, guys. Big press, feeling these. I am, I know you are. Here we go. You're doing great. Pushing through each circuit today. Awesome. All right, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, all the way up. Dumbbells down, grab those lighter dumbbells. We're gonna to return to the alternates right here. So one dumbbell up, one down. And here we go, alternating for 30 seconds. We got this. Good, don't get sloppy. Single arm press, one goes up, one resists and comes down. Working the entire time. Woo, we got it. Core tight, stabilizing, back brace into the floor. 15 seconds, finish strong. This is it. We're back on our feet in about Eight seconds, so finish strong. Here we go, here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. All right, guys, all the way back up. My dumbbells are getting to be all over the place. Move these out of the way. Good job. Grab a quick drink. We're going to catch up on our walking leg. Our next um, circuit. We're gonna to return to walking, this time walking the entire time on our left leg. We walked the entire time last time on our right leg, now we're walking on the left leg, all right? While we're walking, working the biceps, alternating, just like this. Alternating up, up, back, back. Walking with this left leg the entire time, alternating these hammer curls, all right? So walking with the left leg, hammer curls, this is exercise A. Exercise B, I want you to grab those heavier dumbbells, palms forward this time, and curl. Good solid curls right here for 45 seconds. A little bit heavier dumbbells, all right? So here we go. I'm gonna move to the side. Again, walking left, alternating the hammer curl. Let's go in three, two, and one, right here. Just up, left, back, left. Alternating these hammer curls the entire time, all right? Up, up, back, back. Keep those hammer curls going. Tight core, good. Chest up, don't fall over, all right? Elbows are engaged. We're just moving slightly with that left foot, keeping a little bit of movement going here. Good job. All right, finish with me right here. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, dumbbells down. Grab those heavier dumbbells, guys, right here. Knees are soft, palms forward. Right here, curl forward and right back down. 45 seconds. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good job. My muscle connection to these biceps. Woo, good job. Lifting a little bit slower, right? Lifting heavier, a little bit slower. That's why we've got 45 seconds. Good job. 
got about 20 seconds, and then we'll pick up those wider dumbbells and finish with the exercise we started with. Good work. 15 seconds here, guys. Big, strong curl. Keep those elbows engaged. Squeeze those biceps. Good. Lift up and exhale. Core tight, don't lose that core. All right, we've got three, two, and one. All right, dumbbells down. All right, again, we are, I'm gonna lighten my load. <laughs> all right, here we go. Alternating, walking left, all right? Up, up, back, back. I light my dumbbells this time to my fives. Good job. Here we go, 30 seconds here. Up, up, back, back. Just keeping our legs moving. All right, a little bit of movement here. Hammer curling these biceps. <laughs> Finishing there. Finish strong, guys. Keep walking with that left leg. Finish strong. We've got about seven seconds. Here we go, you're doing great. Let's finish right here in three, two, and one. Woo! Nice work. Our pace today, we are moving so quick, all right? That's where a lot of our intensity is coming from. Plus, we're going from high reps to heavy, lower reps, back to the high reps, all right? So a lot of this, keeping it intense. All right, I'm gonna grab one more drink. This is where I'm gonna grab my band, and I'm gonna grab my chair, mainly for balance. If you don't have a chair, I'm gonna lose my ball here. If you don't have a chair, you can absolutely just use the wall. All right, I'm gonna use my chair for balance. Just placing that band, around your ankles, okay? Right there like that. We're gonna start with the right leg, just lifting out to the side, all right? Keeping that knee and shoestring facing forward, right? You don't wanna turn it up. Knee and shoestring facing forward, squeezing everything you've got right there, all right? So let's go right here for 30 seconds. In three, two, and one. Here we go, lift, lift and squeeze. Good job, stay nice and tall. Lift that leg and squeeze. Knee and shoestring forward. We've got 30 seconds here. Woo! Nice job, lift and squeeze. Knee and shoestring forward, keep that core tight. 10 more seconds here, guys. Good, finish strong. We've got five, four, three, two, and one, all right, keeping that same band. Now we're just gonna alternate. Alternate right and left, 45 seconds. Here we go. Side to side. Good job, get a big strong lift out to the side. Tap down and give the other side a chance. Good job. 45 seconds here. Woo, really feeling it on that right side, but that left side's coming up, right? So here we go. Big lift and lower, keeping those shoestrings forward. Lots of work right here in that medial glute, all that adduction right here, outer thigh. Nice job. All right here, let's give it five, four, three, two, and one. All right, here we go, finishing strong. Left leg only, knee and shoestring forward. 30 seconds, here we go. Lift and lower. Woo! 30 seconds right here, left side. Stay tall, try not to get all leaned over, right? Core tight, lift and squeeze. Everything right there. 15 seconds, guys. Tap and lift. Squeeze it up. You got it. If that band gets too tough, just get rid of it and keep that leg going, all right? Let's give this seven more seconds. Finish strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Wow, nice job. All right, get rid of that band. We won't be coming back to it, that's it for the band. All right, move the chair out of the way. We're done with that as well. All right, next exercise, we're working the back. So I'm gonna use my 10s and my 15s, all right? So let me show you what we've got. Working our back here, so maybe going a little bit heavier, all right, those big muscles in the back. So our exercise A that we performed twice, for 30 seconds 
is the combination of row to fly, all right? Remember with your rows, dumbbell to hip, elbows to sky. With your row, lead with those elbows, squeeze the back, all right? So rows and flies for 30 seconds, and then go to a heavier set of dumbbells for 45 seconds of just rows, all right? So I'm gonna grab a quick drink so I can keep talking. We've got two more circuits, guys, this is it. We've got this back circuit and then our last one. You guys are doing great, pushing hard. All right, here we go. Core nice and tight, nice strong hinge here. We're gonna row and fly in three, two, and one, right here. Big row, now fly. 30 seconds here, good job. Dumbbell the hip, elbows the sky. Good job. Squeezing the back. Woo! Nice work. 15 seconds here. You can go heavier dumbbells. All right, for that 45 seconds of just heavy set of rows. Core tight here, guys. Don't round that back. All right, we've got three, two, and one. All right, dumbbells down. Don't let those go too far. Stand up here for a second. Give your back a break. Have those heavier dumbbells. Big hinge right here. Here we go. Row it up. 45 seconds. Woo! So slow it down. Drive those elbows up. Squeeze in the back. Core tight. We got it. If your back starts feeling tired during these, you can alternate right and left. Right, row right, then row left, okay? Otherwise, keep both going. Core nice and tight. Stand up and give yourself a little break if you need to. Right back at it. We've got, what do we got? 15 seconds here. Big row. Big row. Draw those elbows up. Dumbbells to the hips. Four, three, two, and one more. All right, dumbbells out of the way. Grab those lighter dumbbells. Last 30 seconds. Rows and flies. Here we go. Big row. Now fly. 30 seconds here, guys. Finish strong. Woo! Back is feeling so strong. Core tight. Fly it out. Good. Drive those elbows, guys. Drive those elbows. Squeeze in that back. Here we go. All right, eight seconds. Core tight. Boom. We got it. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. Drop those dumbbells. Nice work. All right, grab a quick drink. We're gonna finish here, guys. Right here with some full body, full body uh, circuit here at the end. Started with some full body circuits. We're gonna finish with some full body circuits right here. I'm gonna use my fives and my eight, all right? So exercise A that we're finishing with looks like this. Core nice and tight. We've got cross punches right here. Bring it across, bring it across, bring it across. Just like that, big rotation, side to side, core tight. Exercise B, right in the middle. Slight squat. You do you with your squat, I have to modify mine, right? So squat, out front, right back up. Core tight right here, guys. Lots of core work as you punch that dumbbell out. Bring it back in and up, all right? So that's a full body movement. These rotations, full body movement. Core nice and tight. Let's finish right here. Cross punches, 30 seconds. Let's go with three. Knees are soft. Core tight. Let's go with three, two, and one. Here we go. Punch, punch. Good job. Core tight. Punch it across. Good job. It's across and right out front. It's not right out in front of you. It's not directly to the side. All right, somewhere right in between. Getting a little bit of rotation and a punch. Core tight. Here we go, here we go. All right, eight seconds, guys. And then we'll grab that single heavier dumbbell. Right here, in three, two, and one. All right, dumbbells down. Grab that heavier dumbbell. Core tight. Squat, press, and up. Squat, press, and up. 45 seconds here, guys. Good. Up. Good. And up. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Down and up. Keep it going. Nice work. Core tight. 
Nice little squat here. Boom, and up, down low, and press. Lots of core work here, guys. We got it, we got it. All right, we got about 10 seconds. We're gonna finish with those punches. Down press, and up. All right, four, three, two, and one. All right, dumbbell down. Cross press is right here. Here we go, 30 seconds. Boom. Core tight, guys. Knees are soft. Don't lock those legs out. Knees are slightly bent. Punching with a big rotation. Good. Hup, hup, hup. Good work. We got it. 15 seconds. Core tight. Finishing strong. 10 seconds, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Good. We got it. We got this. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Right there. Great job, guys. Grab a quick drink in your towel. Woo! All right, let's bring it to the floor for a cool down. Nice work, everybody. No impact, knee friendly, lots of sweat. I like it, right? Good job. All right, let's bring the legs out long right here. Big stretch, let's rainbow reach. Taking that right arm up, elbow to ear, right here, just rainbow reach over. Nice, hold that there. Great job, guys. Don't go away, let's cool down, let's stretch out together. Your muscles deserve this stretch. Good, now, turning towards that left leg. Good, let's reach the chest over towards that left knee and hold that stretch there. Fantastic, guys. Be sure to give me a thumbs up for this workout, bring it back to the center. I would appreciate that. Now all the way up, rainbow reach over to the right with that left arm, elbow to ear right there. Hold that stretch, good job. Thumbs up goes a long way to support my channel, so I would absolutely appreciate that. Good job, and now release. Let's turn the chest toward that right leg and hold the stretch there. Good job, that feels great. And all the way back up, nice. Let's bring the feet out front, all right? Knees are slightly bent. Right here, let's bring the arms up overhead and out to the side. Bring them forward now and lower. Good job, knees are slightly bent. Just hold that stretch right there. And now release, just relaxing the arms to the side. Let's do that again. Arms all the way up. Now out to the side, out to the front. And again, just lower, good job. Holding it right there. Core nice and tight, knees are soft. Good, just relaxing over, getting a little bit of a stretch there. And now release, hands to the floor. Let's cross right over left here, taking that left elbow to the right knee and rotate now to the right. Good work. All that stretch right there through the, for our abduction and glute medius there. All right, let's switch back to the front. Just give the legs a little bit of a shake out here. And now let's cross that left leg over the right, right elbow to that left knee, and this time we're rotating to the left. Good. You guys did great today. So glad we worked out together. Pushing it hard, felt good to be back on my feet today for most of this workout, so thankful for that. But still, listening to my body, listening to my knee, listening to my doctor, and making sure that I am following all my current uh, rehab recovery protocol, all right? Um, let's go ahead and bring this up onto all four, or your feet and your hands to a pipe position right here. And right here, let's just press the head in between the elbows towards the feet, heels planted, our heart rate has come down now so we can lower our head like this between our elbows. Big stretch there, good job. All right, now let's release. And now let's just alternate, heels up, bending the knee. Good, raising that heel, lowering it back down. Let's get four more here. Good. And one more time each way. And last time, good job. Again.
again, let's plant both heels down. This time, let's walk the hands all the way to the feet. Nice and easy right there. Just let your head relax and dangle right there between your hands. Let your hands just loose. And hold that right there just for a few seconds. Good, that feels so good. And now let's release and roll all the way up. Nice and slow. Good, a few little arm swings to the front. Let's take the right arm across the chest right there. Good, wiggle those fingers for me a little bit. And now let's take that elbow back. Good job. Again, guys, thanks so much for working out with me today. Nice, let's release and again, cross your right over left and left over right. 10 weeks out now for my knee surgery. All right, let's bring that left arm across. Good work. So I just keep plugging along. I hope that you are plugging along. Um, it's been quite a learning process for me in many ways, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Uh, but just I've been so thankful that through it all, I've been able to find a, a way to move no matter what, whether I was sitting down on the floor and just working upper body or um, just working my core or whatever it was I was doing. Just super encouraging to always find a, a way to move. It was very beneficial to me. It's always beneficial to us to find a way to keep moving. So thankful that you have been moving with me and I will see you guys again next time.